Okay, so I'm going to make a green sphere today. All right, so I'm making my green. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and paint like a nice um, um, mid-tone. Okay, so I'm going to get started with a mid-tone of the green, and I'm going to, here's my space, and so I want to have it slightly to the right because my picture of the sphere that I'm doing is going to be um, with a side lit with the shadow elongating on the left. And so I'm going to start with a circle of the green. And I'm just using watercolor paper that's not primed. So it's going to suck up a lot of that water, unfortunately. OK, so while that's setting up, I'm going to start with the background. All right, so wash the brush off. And I'm gonna use gray as a background. So black and white. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start by just going around. The water is going to spread it out for you so it blends a little bit better. Okay, so keeping in mind your principles of design, I want the right side to be a little bit um, darker and then the left side to be a little bit like medium tone, medium to light. So I'm going to just go around that, grab a little water. my background I think what I'm gonna do also is make a like a tabletop so that it's a little bit darker you guys don't have to do this sorry I mean lighter I want the shadow to be a little bit darker so I'm just gonna make a, a break right here And I'm just grabbing white. The paint is still wet on the paper, so it's still blending really nicely. Okay, and then while that's setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the sphere. Oops. So I'll grab my green. I'm gonna make it darker first. 
So I just have my green and I'm just pulling in a little bit of black to it. I want it to be a little darker blue. Okay, so I'm gonna put in, remember to make your brush strokes in the shape of whatever object you're actually painting. So I'm gonna make this uh, core shadow darker. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then grab a little more just plain green. And you know what? I'm gonna grab a little white on that too. This is the reflected light. Okay, so working on the highlight, I'm just kind of building this out. It's a little too transparent on the edge for me, so I'm going to just deepen that with the original color. And I'm going to fix the edge. Okay, that makes me happy. Grab a little water on that. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse my brush off, and then I wanna I wanna work on the highlight while that is still wet and setting up. So I'm gonna grab the same green. I think I'll add a little yellow to it so it's more <laughs> yellow green. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the green and I'm just pulling some yellow over to it and then grab a little white. Ooh, that was a lot. Okay, grab a little more white. And then I really want to hit this highlight rather hard. So nice and easy right there, a little circle. And then I wanna wipe off my brush, grab a little water. <clears throat> and then I just wanna blend this out a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is kind of a glazing technique where you're taking water, <coughs> excuse me, and pulling it outward again in a circular way. Okay, my, my brush is getting kind of dry. So now I'm going to scrub the edge or scumble. I need more paint. Okay. Now I'll work on the shadow. So, pretty clean brush. <clears throat> okay, remember that the shadow is darkest closest to where the, the surface, like closest to where the object touches the surface itself. I'm gonna start with kind of a, just a deep gray. And then I'll go in and darken it. So.
I just want to move some paint to the tip of the brush. And then I want to mess up that edge so that the penumbra has a soft a softness on the edge. I don't want a hard edge. So I'm just going to, I don't, yeah. Okay, and then I'll finish it just with black, making sure it's really deep, very close, and then bring that out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm just checking for accuracy. I don't really like how this is like a spot right there, so I'm just gonna soften that. Okay. Okay. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. At the end, if you want to um, throw a little bit of your, your green tone into the shadow, you know, I just have a tiny bit on my brush. So I'm just going to kind of glaze a little bit on there because light bounces, color bounces. We remember color comes from light. So I'm just going to hint that there's a little bit of green in there. You know, you could put some in the background. You know, and this provides some unity with color. Okay. That's all dry back there, so I'm just glazing a little bit of the medium to light green on that. Okay. There you have it. Thank you so much.